Hey everyone, Headcrab Circus here, and today we are doing a four for McDorfer in the world of Fallout New Vegas. That's right, everyone, four mods for the price of fun. Let's get started. First off is our weapon mod. This is the ammo counter display framework, and what this does is it adds an ammunition counter to certain guns. Now, right now, the only weapons that have the counter are four custom guns that the mod author has created. So, right now, it's the EVA, the M4A1, the V8, and the Aken, or the Aiken, all created by Mr. Radioactive. So as you can see, each weapon, when you fire it, the counter display goes down. Pretty cool, really sweet stuff. Um, I would imagine you would use this mod if you're playing the game without any ammunition user interface, obviously. Um, these all work fantastically. Uh, beautiful meshes and textures for all these really sweet stuff. For the M4-1A, the counter is on the side of the weapon, so you can't really see it until you're done shooting. And the EVA, which is the alien gun, has an alien counter, which is pretty cool. I like that. So you can't really distinguish um, when you're out of ammo because it's in the alien language. But either way, really sweet. Next up is medkits. Uh, this mod allows you to craft medkits, which provide a variety of differing effects. So as you can see, there's all different type of uh, medkits. Army, field kit, you got pills, improvised medkit, and all these have different effects, which is pretty sweet. Uh, each one is used for a different situation. And that's... Uh, pretty interesting if you're doing a playthrough. It expands the way you can heal yourself. This also comes with some pretty nifty icons, so you have unique images for every med kit, which is pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, and this is what I was hoping was going to be in the mod, when you drop the med kits, it's just a uh, regular stim pack. But either way, super cool mod and uh, pretty good for if you're doing a you know playthrough and you want some uh, greater diversity in your med kits. Pretty sweet. And third off is the R2-D2 Companion. As you can see here, R2 is located south of Prim, near the racetrack. Um, I really like that the mod author even included the escape pod. Fantastic, uh, really cool extra detail. Um, R2 has custom animations, sounds, and we're going to find out if he is a fighter as well. Oh my, little R2. Look at you, dancing. So really cool. Fantastic mesh and texture. R2 is super cute, and we're going to be taking him to get a little bit dirty. And last but not least, we are doing Vault 51. Uh, this is a vault mod, our quest mod for today, obviously. And uh, this is not finished, and uh, apparently a bunch of people are having trouble with it crashing at a particular point. But the mod author said um, he's just kind of drained of modding and just figured he'd release it. So we're going to check this out. Uh, might end pretty abruptly, I have heard, but either way, we're going to check it out. We are northwest of Prim, and we're going to jump on down here. Everybody's going to have a good time. Boom. Cave to Vault 51. Oh. Ow. I ain't got time for this. Neither do you, ghoul, ga ghoul gal. Ghoul gal. You look like the Joker. Yeah, I know R2, alright? Yeah, great. So, uh, we got everyone but uh, AJ and Janet. Oh, thanks for uh, you're just gonna teabag that guy, R2? Alright. Yeah, Okay, that's cool. Sweet. I have a feeling R2 and Ball Arms are going to get along real good. Unfortunately. Alright, everyone. Chill out. You're too close. You're always too close. Custom texture on the door is pretty sweet. Hi there. One more step and I'll blow your goddamn brains out. I hope for your sake you don't miss. Easy there, buddy. I come in peace. You don't look like a bandit. What the hell are you doing here? I just killed a bunch of guys that were trying to kill you. You're welcome. You seem to have a raider problem. I'd like to offer my services. Is this a vault? Can I see it? Gee willikers. Uh, you seem to have a raider problem. I'd like to offer my services. Thank you. The attacks have been getting worse and worse. We really need all the help we can get. Why don't you come inside and meet everyone? I think we could use someone like you. Talk to Carter Burke inside. He's the head of security. If you like killing raiders, then, we got, then we've got then we got work for you. Good thing they didn't know how to operate a small lever. Ooh, I like this little armor they got. That's pretty sweet. So, uh, at the moment, there is no custom voice acting. Um, but, yeah, I've got some questions. I don't have time for this. Make it quick. So you guys are some kind of security force? Not exactly. More like guards. We keep the assholes out. What, just you three? It's easier than you'd think. This tunnel's a great bottleneck, like a funnel into a blender. Still, there's usually more of us. 
Hudson took the rest inside to take care of some other business. Although, if you go looking for him, he's probably at the bar. Hey, Vasquez. Uh, have you ever been mistaken for a man? <laughs> oh, I just got a quest. No. Have you? Oh. Deep burn, Vasquez. Deep burn. So you guys all came out of the vault, huh? No way. Do we look like we were raised around these sissy vault dwellers? We used to be MCR. First recon. State of the badass art. But this job pays better. How much are you getting paid for this? No caps. Don't need them anymore. In exchange for keeping both, for keeping Vault 51 safe, they let us live here. You ever slept a night in a vault bed before? It may be a literal hole in the wall, but this place puts the Ultralux to shame. Ooh. Bye. All right. What about you, Drake? Where's Josh? Drake? Something you want? I've got some questions. We ain't getting paid enough for this shit. All right. What do you do around here? Usually I train Burke's security guards. It's a tough job. Practically had to train them from the ground up. Poor bastards. They've been locked up with all this hardware for centuries, but I don't think most of them had even seen a gun before. What can you tell me about these raiders? Hmm? They're fucking crazy. I'll tell you that much. Call themselves psycho bandits. They're a bunch of fiend wannabes, except somehow worst. At least the fiends have the excuse of being a bunch of fucked up chem heads. These guys are different. They'll eat a human alive just for fun. Better equipped too. None of this tribal bullshit. No idea where they're getting their hardware or the training. <clears throat> Frankly, I'd rather just shoot him. I'll t let someone who doesn't mind the risk of getting his eyeballs scooped out ask the questions. All right, uh, that'll be me. I like ice cream. I like ice cream. All right. So we got a quest. I don't know if that was for Chief Burke. Let's let's find Burke first. Burke, I'm Burke the Frog. <laughs> Welcome to Vault 51. Holy Jesus, my companions are here. Welcome to Vault 51. It's a place. It's a beautiful place. Bum bum. Hello, lady. Hey. Oh, hi. What do you need? Nothing. Time for me to go. Later. Bye, Jeanette. Bye, Jeanette. Uh, one thing that was pretty cool that was mentioned is every NPC has a unique names so there's no like random just you know nameless npcs everyone's got a a name and a personality hey burke you're the one hicks let through good you look like you can probably handle yourself hicks said you might have some work for me you really don't know what it's like out there do you i like your hat hicks said you might have some work for me i do hudson's supposed to be taking care of a little problem we're having downstairs but i saw the stupid bastard sneak upstairs to the bar i'm a little too busy here to be babysitting alcoholic douchebags why don't you head down to maintenance and meet up with his squad you want to talk to Ellen, DeGeneres, when you get down there. She'll let you through. What's going on downstairs? Is there a party? Vault 51 was built into a huge cave system. Those bandits must have figured if they can't get in through the front door, they'd try the back door. They somehow found their way into the surrounding caves and managed to cut the power to some of the lower levels. There's a utility hatch downstairs that leads out into the caves. Hicks sent his boys to secure the exit and clear a path so we can do repairs. I have a suspicion Hudson's not being very helpful in that regard. I'm sure they'd like appre they'd appreciate the extra firepower. Why can't you take care of the bandits yourself? The overseer doesn't think my men are ready yet. He called the whole forest back deeper into the vault. But that leaves the front door completely vulnerable. Why would he do that? Because he's an idiot. Because he's scared. He says he's protecting the children and the families. That's bullshit. He's calling my guards closer to himself. So you're completely powerless. Not completely. A few of us have stayed behind. In the absence of our security team, we've been training civilian militia. Drake's been helping me with that one. They're good, but they're still just regular people. Teachers, parents, mechanics. We need soldiers. In time, they'll be just what we need to keep Vault 51 safe. But I'm afraid now, they're just not ready. Tell me more about the... All right, let's go. When you, t when you see Hudson, tell him he's a douchebag R2-D2. All right. So, like I said, this is an unfinished mod, so... But right now, pretty cool. I want to find one of these med kits. There we go. HP plus. Man, these all have like negative effects. Jesus. All right, I'll do a stim pack for now. Restore 15 health, but your legs don't work. Hey. Hey, you're from the surface, right? You need any chems? Uh, no. You need some chems. You don't even have any money. You're a horrible, horrible drug dealer. 
Oh god. <laughs> oh, that scared me. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hey babe. Hello. What you doing? You looking at Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hey. What do you need? Nothing. See that waterfall? Bye. Yeah, I could do that. I'll be downstairs. I hope she got that. I hope she didn't think I could piss really hard. Hello, Dexter. What do you need? Uh, where's your laboratory? Bye. Whoa, frame rate. Inaccessible. Oh, God. I thought you were a man for a second. Hi, Ellen. Hey, what are you doing down here? Burke asked me to replace Hudson in the case. I've, I've come to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of gum. Well, I have bad news and good news, and they're both the same thing. We're all out of gum. I guess you're here to replace Hudson, huh? I hope you're braver than he is. We heard a couple of gunshots, and he came running back inside. I've got balls of steel. I've been in plenty of fights. Trust me, I can handle myself. What's going on in those caves? I've got balls of steel. I sure hope so. These bandits are some crazy sons of bitches. What's going on in those caves? I can't say for sure. Hudson took those mercs in there and I locked the door behind him. He didn't say a word to anyone when he came back. If you're going in there, I suppose you ought to know. They didn't cut the power in the lower levels. That's something we made up to keep everyone from panicking. They blew a hole in the vault. Whoa, that's not good. You didn't tell anyone? That sounds really not good. Like my eight frames per second right now. It's actually not as bad as it, as it sounds. We lacked all access to that part of the vault. As long as we clear them out before they do any more damage, we should be perfectly safe. What's in that part of the vault? Not much. Storage, frames, you know. It's pretty empty down there. A vault like this was never meant to have people living in it this long, so we ran through our supplies a long time ago. All that's down there is the time capsule stuff, pre-war tech that someone paid a lot of money to keep safe. Ooh, the sooner we get the sun, the better. I'm going in there. Suit yourself. Here's the key. I heard there those mercs talking before. Pharaoh, I think, seemed to know a lot about these guys. She thought our best chance was to take out the leaders. There's three of them down there. Mayhem, Sledge, and Psycho Hannah. Take out those three, and hopefully the rest will go running for the hills. And hey, good luck. Hot dang. I don't understand why my frame rate drops so much when I go on friggin' menus. That's so weird. Alright. Calm down, Chasm. Time to murder everyone. All right. Remember, everyone, this is a shoot first mission. We ain't asking 20 questions. 20 questions. 20 questions. We're asking 20 questions. Oh. You okay, man? Anna Gonzalez? I'm gonna Gonzalves this mystery. Turns out you got shot in the face. Whoa. All right. Everyone get in here. Everyone get in here. Come on, R2, Groovatron, Cuddles, Jerry. It's not the first time you've seen a dead body. Get over it. We're gonna get super clean. Don't try to run away from it, ball arms. R2, you need a little bit of a clean up too. You got some dust there. Got some dust all over you, you little bit, little dirty baby. All right, is everyone ready? R2, I want to see what you got. All right, this is the first, uh, first operation in the field. All right, oh god, there's a big cavern. Hello, I have some of the loudest robots here. If you're looking for us. Hmm, cool. Roughnecks. Alright, listen, you raider bastards. You specifically. Oh, God, Cuddles. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Alright. I thought I had. Oh, God! Beat hot lead, you cummy. Jesus, gun is powerful. God damn. 
Alright, let's switch it up. <laughs> Obliterated that guy. <laughs> no one's getting in our way. Sorry. We're a little bit overprepared for you, dickbags. Sledgehammers ain't helping no one. And it's sledgeling. Oh! Here comes Santa! There's some red candy canes for you. Lick up that peppermint. Ba boom! Come on! We got some ladies. Oh god. Oh god. We get we got one of the bosses, didn't we? Yeah, one of these guys was a boss. Bandit Bruiser, where are you? Maybe, maybe not. Sledge. Oh, no, we did get Sledge. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Got custom armor, safety first. Yeah, okay, thanks, Ball Arms. Yeah, just step all over his face, that's great. All right. Anyone else? Oh, you want to go up next, Steve? Hey, R2. Hey, you want to, uh... You want to dump on this guy, too, while we're at it? Where's Jerry? Just desecrate this man's body. Ooh. Actually, I want to see if I can give... I'm going to give this to Jerry. Jerry, what's the matter? What's the matter? You're not... Why are you standing back here? You're not feeling good today? Sledges. This is 15. What is... Uh, you're, you're naked. There you go. Look at you. All right, that is different. Where's the, uh... Oh, it's a shield. Oh, awesome. All right. And eh, we'll give everything to Jerry. That way I'll get confused and accidentally shoot him in about four seconds. <laughs> All right. Mask, shield. Look at you, Jerry. You could go deep into undercover. Oh, hello, cars. Hello, cars. How are you today? R2, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Oh, that's good, R2. That's good. All right. Come on. Oh, yep. All right. Unfinished mod. All right. <laughs> yep, yep. Few areas, yeah. Oh yeah, Kool Aid. <laughs> oh no. Dick. I don't know if somehow for some reason this gun turns when you shoot. It's weird. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. have the weapon anim animation replacer which you're supposed to have so those some pretty rocks you're looking at little boy here's some pretty bullets for you Jim Hopper well we found Jim poor Jim I really like these uh the bandits faces I don't know if that's custom or if that's from something if it's custom it's awesome Hello, little lady. You're a man. You're also dead. Alright, let's go alien on these. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, uh, no witnesses. Just obliterated everyone with these weapons. That's great. All right, this is gonna be a challenge. Oh wait, we can't go in here. Never mind. William Gorman. I like. I like the. Uh, I love. I love this roughneck armor. I love the camo. It's so cool. I'm actually gonna wear it. Damn it, M Ramirez Alapone. Freeze. You walking panda bear. I'm gonna shoot the ground. There you go, now you're dead. Oh, God! 
R2, do you even fight? I want to see R2 fight. We have yet to see R2 do anything. <laughs> 